David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Today we're going to be taking a look at a flagship pen from the Platinum Fountain Pen Company. Uh, and that pen is the Platinum President. We're going to go over some of the things that I care for about it, some of the things I don't care for. Uh, I'll show some measurements, some size comparisons, and then I'll provide a writing sample. So the uh, Platinum Fountain Pen Company was founded in 1919 in Japan is one of, and is one of the, uh, the three, uh, the big three pilot sailor as well as platinum uh, in regard to Japanese fountain pen companies. And it's actually the smallest of the three. Uh, and the president is their flagship pen. Uh, similar to Pilot's flagship, which is the 845. I'm not sure if you could really call it their flagship. It's their, one of their more expensive pens, but they don't necessarily mark it as a flagship. Uh, and Sailor has their king of pens and Pilot has their president. Uh, and it has been rumored that this particular pen, the president, was something that was used by President Bill Clinton when he was in office. Uh, he came into office in uh, right around, I think it was 1993 is when he started office, and this pen was uh, released in or was released in uh, 1994. So it's just rumor as far as what I've heard. I couldn't find any really any concrete evidence, but uh, that's what a lot of folks uh, say about this pen. And so it was, in his point in time, uh, a pen that was available to use. And it comes in this box right here. And you slide this off and inside the box that actually uh, it came in is kind of a felt covered box. It kind of reminds me of like the late 80s or early 90s. It doesn't necessarily scream of, of a modern pen box. Uh, and inside we have a number of things. We have a proprietary platinum cartridge. This pen is a cartridge converter and uh, platinum does have their own proprietary cartridges and converters that you'll need to use. Uh, there is also a little president instructions here, which basically just go over filling instructions for their pens. And then we have the pen itself. We'll go ahead and take this out. And here is the platinum president. And you might say to yourself that this looks an awful lot like a Mont Blanc 146, and it does. Here's just for comparison's sake, here is a 146 and there. It has a very similar shape. We'll go over some of the differences later, but um, even though it is very similar in style, I think that there's enough different about this pen that it, you know, I wouldn't consider it a knockoff. It's just something that has a, a somewhat similar style and a few uh, of the same looks to it. Uh, the, uh, this is made just like the Mont Blanc. This is made out of resin. Uh, you know, I will say that, you know, Mont Blanc has their quote unquote precious resin, which feels very nice and very high quality. Uh, and that I wouldn't say this resin feels as good as the Mont Blanc uh, resin does, but it by no means feels cheap. Uh, it, it's decent quality. Uh, and this particular, it comes in two models. It comes in a gold as well as the rhodium plated. And this obviously is the rhodium plated. Uh, the cost of this pen is for the for the, the rhodium is a little bit more. I went through a, a Japanese retailer and the cost for the rhodium plated was one hundred and seventy seven dollars. And then I believe it was like one forty nine or right around there for the uh, the gold trimmed model. Uh, and other than that, they're identical from what I could see. It's just the uh, the trim that's used. Uh, that in this pen is basically a step up in the Platinum line from the 3776. There's a number of different 3776 models and this is kind of the, the next step up. Uh, it has a kind of an interesting Art Deco design throughout the pen that we'll go over. Uh, first of all, here at the finial, it's just rounded. There's no logo at the top. And then we have a silver band here at the top and then we have the clip. And this is not a clip band. The clip and the band are, are separate. And on the band, it's, or the clip itself, it has a, a decent amount of spring to it. And that you can see here that it has kind of a neat Art Deco design to it, which I like. This has a, a couple of different layers there that are neat. Uh, then we have a smaller cap band, and then we have the larger cap band. And as you can see here, the larger cap band says President, and it also says Platinum and Japan. Uh, then it tapers down slightly, so there's really not a, a sharp transition between the cap and the barrel. Uh, and the barrel tapers down just a little bit. We have another silver band here, uh, and then we have the end section, which is not a piston knob since this is a cartridge converter pen. We unscrew the cap to 
expose this very interesting two-tone nib. You can see here that it, again, it kind of has the uh, the Art Deco design with the uh, with the stripes on it, and it says President 18K, and then B for Broad and uh, Platinum. Uh, and I, I like the fact that this is a two-tone nib. A lot of times when you order a pen and it has the the rhodium plating to it, that they'll then make the uh, uh, the nib rhodium as well. Uh, they'll have that as the silver color. And I like the fact that they maintain the two-tone on on this model. Uh, and then it has a plastic. Uh, feed underneath. You can see here at the section there is a very small flare with a silver uh, with a silver band at the end uh, and then the section is you know uh, it's a little bit on the small side but it's very comfortable. Uh, and then we have a another silver band here which is actually part of the the, uh, uh, the section mechanism here and you can see the, the uh, the proprietary platinum converter. Uh, and since we have a lot of metal here and potentially some metal here in the cap that you're not gonna be able to use this as an eyedropper. Uh, in regard to the cap, uh, there is an inner cap, but it is not the platinum um, uh, proprietary slip and, uh, slip and seal uh, like is on some of the 3776s. So there is a, an inner cap here, but it's not the slip and seal mechanism, uh, which if you want to learn more about, I do have a review of the uh, 3776 Yamanaka uh, on my channel. You can view it there and see what the, uh, the slip and seal mechanism is all about. Um, the, I, the nib really impressed me that I typically go for a, um, a, a Western medium or a um, uh, I even like the Japanese mediums as well, uh, and that it for I figured that this broad would be kind of more like a Western medium, uh, and it was. It, it's very much like a Western medium, um, and uh, it is very smooth with a decent amount of feedback, like we'll go over in the writing sample. Um, the, so here we have the Platinum President. Um, it's some, a pen that I very much enjoyed, uh, and has been. Um, you know, while it's similar to the, the Mont Blanc 146, I think there's, like I mentioned before, there's enough differences that it stands out on its own uh, as, a, uh, as a flagship pen for the, the Platinum Fountain Pen Company. So what we're going to do now is I'll show you some measurements and then I'll do some size comparisons and then I'll provide a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Platinum President. Um, first of all, we have a, um, a pilot vanishing point. Then we have a, uh, a Lamy Vista. And then we have a Platinum 3776. You can see how that's um, just a little bit longer. Uh, and the the tip is a little more rounded on the uh, uh, on the 3776, but it's somewhat similar. Uh, then, in regard to some other comparisons, we have a uh, a Lamy 2000 uh, and a Pelican 805. Then. For one more comparison, since they're so familiar, just wanted to show you a little bit more detail in regard to the, the, the Mont Blanc 146. Uh, you can see that the, um, the Mont Blanc has an extra cap band here. The actual uh, end section is a little bit longer, and this is actually a piston mechanism. But um, they have relatively the same shape, but I th like I had mentioned before, that I think there's enough different about them that the Platinum stands on its own. You know, it still has that classic look to it. Uh, some people will call that boring. I, I have a tendency to like these classic looks, but, um, but, uh, but it does have a distinct look to it. So here we have the Platinum President. And this is a, a broad nib, and the ink is Sailor Kiwaguru. Now, this is a, a really decent black ink. It comes in uh, uh, this bottle here. Uh, I'm uh, a decent fan of this ink, 
Uh, this is what it looks like. I, I know that black is going to look like black, and so it's, you're not going to see much difference. But in regard to some other comparisons, this is the, the Sailor Gentle Black, uh, and this is like a Mont Blanc Mystery Black, which seems like it has a little more um, a little more blue in it, and that the Sailor and uh, the two Sailors seem to be a little bit more similar. But um, you know what? I uh, this is a decent black that really shows up on a lot of people's. Um, best black inks uh, and so this is a very popular color um, while I, I like the color uh, these the bottles look nice but I, I just really don't like the bottles that much that it for some of the larger nibs it's difficult to actually get them in here so as far as uh, the ink goes they get good grades but these bottles are not my favorite when it comes to using them but it's um, but they look nice so here we go with the rest of the writing sample dog um, like I said this is a broad nib and it's a, a, a Japanese broad so it kind of acts more like uh, a, a Western medium and I'd say it's more on the thick side of medium uh, you can get a little bit of line variation out of here if you push it uh, and the the nib is fairly wet <laughs> you can see that it's a, a fairly wet nib there and in regard to reverse writing It does lay down a nice fine line. Uh, it is a little bit on the scratchy side though. And in regard to some fast writing, the nib doesn't have any problem keeping up. And like I said, it's decently smooth uh, with just a little bit of feedback, which I wouldn't expect tons of feedback from a, a broad nib, but uh, it's very pleasant to use. And, and I enjoy this nib. I, I would not hesitate to get another, uh, another Japanese broad nib. So we have the Platinum President. Uh, if you're looking for a quality pen with classic looks, then the President might be uh, a, you know, a less expensive alternative to something like the Mont Blanc 146 for you. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.